example g, if we go back to the last slide, is exactly the same as example f. Pi is a constant. It's a number, 3.14159, and so on and so on. So the derivative of any constant is 0. H derivative, the full exponent comes down and multiplies into the 10, so we get 40 x and we subtract one on the exponent, 40 x cubed. Same idea with I. Bring the negative 7 exponent down, multiply it in with the negative 3, we get 21, x to the negative 8. J, we have to do some simplifying first. Again, we have an x in the bottom of a fraction, we need to bring it up. The exponent on the x right now is a 1, so when we bring it up, it becomes negative 1. Derivative of that, negative 1 comes, multiplies into the 11, makes negative 11, x to the negative 2. With k, again, we're looking at a root sign, so we need to change that root into an exponent. It's a little more complicated root than a square root, but what we have is a 3 in the notch, that becomes the denominator of the exponent. 2 on the x becomes the numerator, so what we have is 4x to the 2 thirds. So then the derivative of this, the 2 thirds comes down, multiplies into the 4. 2 thirds times 4 is 8 over 3. x to the, subtract 1 from the exponent, 2 thirds minus 1, minus 3 over 3 if we need the common denominator. So then the derivative is 8 over 3x to the negative 1 third.